Hey boys and girls, today you're going to be reading a story about a girl named Rapunzel. Then you're going to do a measurement art project about her. This is what it's going to look like at the end. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get four papers. Pink, tan, purple, and yellow. We have to make some drawings on these papers so we know when to cut. I'm going to use a Sharpie, but you can use a crayon or anything from the red bins. Here's what your paper is going to look like. I need to draw these things on my paper. Let's start with the easiest one. I think that's the purple. If I take my purple paper, I need it to look like a U with two lines coming out. This is for her dress. So I take my cap off. I'm gonna make a U with two lines coming off. That looks the same. I'm gonna set that one aside. Now, let's do our head. Hmm, I see a big circle and a neck. Okay, going slow. I'm going to draw as best I can. It's okay if I make a mistake. A big circle and a neck. Looks pretty close. Last thing to do, set it aside, is the yellow. This one's the trickiest. This is going to be Rapunzel's hair. Let's start with the curved line at the top. Here I go, going slow. Curved line at the top. Looks pretty good so far. The next thing to do is another U for the head. U for her face. And there's a line going across the top. The last thing to do are two lines going all the way down. Going slow so I don't mess up. One line going down. It's hard to do this with one hand. Another line going down. I'm gonna go as slow as I can. There I go, it looks pretty similar. Now, I should have three pieces of paper that I drew on. One, two, three. Now it's time to cut. I'm going to use my scissors, remember, the right way. The head, I'm going to cut all the way around the outside. On the dress, I'm only going to cut this top part off because I want to keep all of this for her dress. So I'm going to cut across the U and across again. Last thing is our head. I'm only going to cut two parts of it. I'm going to cut off this top part and I'm gonna cut out the middle. Let me show you how it's done. So I cut out my head, my dress, and my hair. Now, I don't really like seeing all the black lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them, but I'm gonna flip them over. What I'm gonna do first is glue the head down. I'm gonna glue on the side with the black lines. Here I go. Glue on the side with the black lines and I'm going to flip it over. That way it hides my black. Push it down. Then I'm going to glue on her dress. Glue on the side with the black lines. Flip it over and glue it down. There's her beautiful dress. Last but not least, I'm going to glue down her hair. Here I go. Gluing on the side with the black lines. flip it over, and I'm going to place it right over her head. So you shouldn't see any of the tan peeping through. There's my Rapunzel. Ta-da! Now while I'm waiting for my yarn, I can add some details to my Rapunzel with my pencil or something from the red bin. I'm going to add some eyeballs. And maybe on her eyeballs, I'm going to give her some eyelashes. I might even use my Sharpie to make it look even darker. I'm gonna give her a nose and I'm gonna use a red marker to make some really pretty lips. There's my Rapunzel's face. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece of yarn for Rapunzel's hair. Now, this is where measuring has to come in. You're gonna take your ruler and you're going to lay your ruler down next to your hair. Remember our rules about it being straight? 
Look at that. This hair is how many inches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's twelve inches. Whoa. So on my paper, I'm going to say Rapunzel's hair is twelve inches long. That is blank than my hair. Hmm. Now I have to figure out how long my hair is. I measured my hair, and my hair is way longer than a ruler. So on here, I'm gonna say Rapunzel's hair is shorter than my hair. Shorter than my hair. If your hair is longer, your, her hair is shorter. And if you have short hair, you would say that that is longer than your hair. All you have to do now is glue your paper down and have some tape to tape the Rapunzel's hair to her head. Then you're all finished. Don't forget to put your name on it.